You open Google Analytics for traffic acquisition reports and you see this. What is unassigned? There are various possible reasons why you have this and UTM parameters are not the only reason. Let me explain. So here's an example. I go to reports, then acquisition, traffic acquisition, and I see that one of the default channel groups is unassigned. So the first thing that you should do is to identify what this unassigned consists of. To do that, click the plus and go to traffic source and find session source medium. If this dimension starts with the word session, you need to use the dimension that starts with session here as well. Once you see the data, then enter unassigned in the search field and hit enter to just see the unassigned data. And here we see some interesting things. So first of all, what is unassigned? If you go to the documentation of the default channel group, and by the way, I will post this link to the description of the video as well. Here you will see a bunch of different channel groups, for example, cross network, paid search, paid video, and so on. And each group has its own rules. For example, if traffic source matches the list of video sites, for example, youtube.com, and the medium is CPC or PPC or retargeting or paid or you know, something else that matches this criteria, then it will be included in the paid video. However, you might have traffic sources that don't match any of these rules. And in that case, the traffic source will be displayed as unassigned. This means that Google Analytics was not capable of assigning that particular traffic source to one of the default channel groups. And if I go to my example, I have medium print. And if, for example, I look for print right here, I will have no results because there is no rule listed right here mentioning print medium. Because of that, and because of my custom session source, these seven sessions were added to the unassigned channel group. So if you are seeing the same situation, then you need to revisit your naming convention of UTM parameters and make sure that they match and that they follow these particular rules. Or alternatively, you can leave your UTM naming convention as it is and then create a custom channel group. I will post a link to this documentation below the video as well. And this page will explain how to create your custom channel groups. What does it mean is that the default channel group will remain as it is. You will still see unassigned traffic there, but then you will also be able to use your own custom channel group. You can manage the channel groups by going to admin, then data settings and channel groups. And here you can copy the existing default channel group and then modify that based on your needs. Again, if you want to learn more, read this documentation. But what if your situation is different? What if most of the session source and medium is not set? In that case, it will also be unassigned. Well, to solve this, things get trickier and sometimes it is possible to solve this and sometimes you will just have to keep it as it is because at least right now when I'm recording this video, some situations don't have the solution. So one of the reasons why you might have session source medium not set is because maybe your project is using measurement protocol. Measurement protocol is the way for your website developers send data from their server directly to Google Analytics servers. But there are some requirements. For example, each request must contain the client ID, the session ID, and if the data is sent to the past, for example, you want to add some additional data to yesterday, then your developers must also send the timestamp of those events. If any of these parameters are missing, or maybe they use data of non-existent users, then you will get not set as source and medium. I have an in-depth tutorial how to work with measurement protocol, and I will post a link to it below the video. So if you're using measurement protocol, definitely watch that video, show it to your developers, because most likely that is the reason of why you have unassigned and not set. Another reason why you might have not set is maybe your Google Analytics for configuration tag in Google Tag Manager fires later than some event tag. Let me show you. So here, let's say that this is the order confirmation page and the purchase is tracked. However, if your purchase tag fires earlier than your configuration tag, that might cause issues with attribution and you might see not set in your source and medium. So to avoid that, 
reconfigure your setup to make sure that the configuration tag fires first, for example, on the initialization, and then that your event tags fire at some moment later. The next reason is related to audiences and a thing called audience triggers. So in Google Analytics 4, if you go to admin and you go to audiences, you can create them right here. So this means that you can group your visitors. And for example, if someone makes a purchase, that visitor joins this audience. For example, if someone, let's say, scrolls on the same page while stays for 60 seconds on that page, then the visitor can enter that audience. So audiences are useful for analysis, but you can also export them to Google Ads. But there's one thing which was promising in Google Analytics 4. When you create a new audience and you configure the rules when the visitor is added to that audience, you could also configure a trigger. An audience trigger is an event that is automatically created when the visitor enters that audience. For example, if the visitor completes a certain sequence of events, Google Analytics 4 can automatically create one more event. However, I've noticed that in some situations, audience triggers just don't have the traffic source and their session source and medium becomes not set. This is especially applicable to audiences that are using predictive metrics. So if you're heavily using audience triggers, that's just thing that you will need to accept. There is no real workaround for that other than just not using audience triggers. The next possible issue is incorrect or missing UTM parameters. If you're using UTMs in your marketing analytics and some of your links just have, for example, just UTM campaign, while UTM source and UTM medium are missing, you will have them as not set because, well, you just don't send them. So make sure that when you're using UTM parameters, always try to include UTM source, UTM medium, and UTM campaign. Then you might find yourself in a situation where the traffic source data looked normally, but then suddenly, your today's data shows a huge spike of unassigned. Now, don't worry, most likely this means that the data has not been processed yet properly. So you need to wait for an additional 24 hours and tomorrow that will most likely be gone and that unassigned traffic will be reassigned to other channel groups. So when you're working with Google Analytics 4, you will need to be more patient. And if you have changed something, you need to wait for 24, maybe 48 hours to properly see those changes if they are working. Another reason why source and medium are not set is because the session is missing the session start event. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact reason why this is happening. My guess that this is a GA4 bug. Hopefully they will fix that in the future. But sometimes you might find sessions that just don't have the session start event. That event is tracked automatically by GA4 and there is no workaround to push that event by yourself. So if you're facing that issue, unfortunately, there isn't much that we can change, at least right now. And I think that this should be fixed by Google. And then one more tip is like last resort for you just to try it out, maybe it will help you. But if you're seeing a lot of not set traffic, try to go to admin, then reporting identity, show all and try to change to device based, then save and then go back to your report. See if that changes anything. I've seen some situations where this actually made difference. And if you want to learn several more tips why you have not set in Google Analytics 4, then take a look at the description of this video where I have a separate tutorial dedicated just to that. And these were the possible reasons why you see unassigned traffic in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.